This is something I threw together yesterday. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put like a gang of three lights on here to make it look nice. You can see it's very bright. And um, so if I have three or four of these on one tower, that's going to illuminate a lot of stuff. And um, I think that'll look pretty good. What I made this was I decided on dimensions for a square, right? So then I made that square. Then, this one here is, was actually another square that I made inside the first square. Then I made a third square, and then I made a fourth square, each one getting smaller and smaller. So then, um, once that's done, then go ahead and uh, measure so that uh, they're somewhat even. And um, I forgot what that dimension is now, um, but it made the geometry come out good. So I would glue it on the bottoms first. Oh, also, uh, I cut a flat on each one of them. I glue it on the bottom first, then I glue it on the top, and then you have basically the tower. And then these pieces, you just stick them in and wedge it and wedge this one, get them so they look somewhat straight, and, uh, and glue them, and you're ready to go. Okay, here we go. We're going to go ahead and cut this thing off. Okay, I moved it out just a little bit so I get closer to the circuit board. Moved it out just a little bit more and now I'm going to uh, chamfer the edge. I take liquid steel putty. This is the putty right here. And I pinch off a piece and then I knead it in my hands and um, this wire, I pull it out straight, and then what I do is I uh, take that putty and put it on the back and mold it around so it is it's a nice radius on the back end. Make sure they're working. The, um, these work on 3 volt DC. Do not try and put um, a Lionel transformer on these because it's alternating current and it will just zap these and burn them up. Believe me, I know. <laughs> okay, here's one. I've got the putty on there. I molded it, you know, with a decent radius. So, and you want all the putty to get inside of that, um, of that chamfer. So you don't see uh, a break. As you can see, the way I machine it, I leave a lip. I do that on purpose so the putty can get in there and it can it can hold up nice and tight in it. And, uh, and then you just make a radius on it. And... All right, so here, here are my lights. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip these wires off uh, short. Let me see if you can see that. I'm going to snip them off a little short and then I'm going to curl them up into a, a circle so it's easy to solder on. Uh, I went ahead and made a lot of brackets. Well, I made it out of some thin aluminum that I got at Sears. So uh, they're, they're 025 thick. Okay. I was going for a half inch have a little shear you can make them a little narrower if you like and then uh, um, two and three quarter long and then I went in two hundred thousandths here two hundred there and then split the uh, the difference for your middle and um, I drilled this It's really not that important. Depends on what kind of screws you have. Um, uh, 115 is the di diameter of the drill that I used. And then I bent it all up nice and pretty. And I'll show you what it looks like. There it is. Ready to mount. Okay, here it is. Finished. Um, 
so what I did for the strap oh don't forget center drill and center drill that's what it's going to pivot on and then there's the bracket I made there we are she's all finished and just about ready to mount on my little tower so I'm gonna have a, a piece coming out like this wide and I'm gonna mount like maybe uh, two on each side I mean two more one on each side maybe three on there let's see how that goes okay this is the back side and uh, as you can see I just wired the, the three hot sides uh, hot wires together and of course the base and these are ground and so there are the lights let's see uh, I'm gonna turn off um, the overhead lights so you can see Wow That's that's pretty cool. I gotta say. All right, I can't wait to put this on the layout, and uh, hope you guys uh, like this um, electrical part of the uh, blog. All right, dudes, later. Okay, here it is in action. I'm in total darkness right now, so. It's illuminating all that. This this thing this sucks. <laughs> Don't even pay that any mind. Um, I think I'm gonna make a bunch of these. They're real easy to make, and uh, as you can see, they illuminate real good. I want to see what they look like from the other side. Let's see. Oh yeah, man. Damn, that looks good. Looks real good. Yeah, you can see the coal loader good, and I might make uh, three more of these, and um, I'll be good. Um, I could set it further back, but I'm light. I'm using an AC adapter, okay. But it's it's got to be three volts, okay? If you try 4.8 or 4.5, I mean, forget it. You're gonna burn it up. So, um, like it is with the three lamps. Lamps are cool. They're not even warm. With one lamp, it was getting a little warm because the milliamps are a little higher than what the little AAA cells uh, put out. So it was getting a little warm. I'm just uh, adjusting it a little bit. So, yeah, man. Digging it, digging it. All right. Ta-da!